Okay, well, first of all, okay, we did it. We did it! Yeah. <laughs> one down, one to go, and another daughter, Nelly. So. Anybody? <laughs> Any favorites? <laughs> so, anyway, um, this has been an amazing journey. Um, and I wanted uh, all of our, your friends and family here um, to join us in this witnessing of the beginning of your, both your, Justin and Katie, journey together. So, um, all of our journeys have brought us here today from all parts of the country and maybe Canada, somebody said. So yes. Come on. Represent. Hey, there. Represent. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, Katie, Katie's amazing journey started um, when Dorothy and I were married 34 years ago in New York. And I think about all the decisions that have been made um, by everyone to, uh, to get to this point. The turning points, forks in the road that have brought you um, together. Uh, you know, who would have thought that you know that that you would end up here in you know Tacoma, Washington, at this point in uh, in your time in your life here, um, with two kids. <laughs> so your mom and I have a two parts of uh, are, are full of um, love and thankfulness that, that you guys have found each other. Uh, when Dorothy and I got married, we never imagined that um, an amazing journey like this could happen. And um, that today we're witnessing the marriage of our little girl to such an outstanding person by her brother. <laughs> so, the one constant throughout our lives and our, throughout our journey has been our faith in our law, Lord, our love for, and respect for each other. Page two. <laughs> yeah, so um, before we do our toast, we'd like to do a little prayer. So Lord, thank you for providing a safe journey for all of those who have traveled here. Watch over us as we continue to travel home. Let us pray for those who are part of our lives that are not with us today. Lord, be with Katie and Justin and the boys as they continue their life journey together. Give them the grace that is needed during the hard times. The ability to continue to praise you for all that you've provided throughout your amazing journey together. I pray that the Lord continues to provide people in your lives that will support and love you. Katie and Justin, remember that remember to keep Christ in the center of your marriage. Through him all things are possible. I ask this in your son's name. Amen. Amen. So now, Katie and Justin, your amazing journey continues. Cheers. Cheers. I just did the math over there. I'm an engineer, so I'm pretty good at math. Justin and I have known each other for 20 years. It makes me feel really, really old. But one thing I know about Justin is he's a challenging guy to date. <laughs> okay. So obviously now, like we heard earlier, Katie's not just dating one guy, she's dating three guys. Which makes it even more complicated. And so it was actually one of the things I was really concerned about as I was watching Justin and over the last couple of years figuring out what was going to happen in this life. And the first time that we had lunch with you guys, I watched how you interacted with the boys, all three of them. And it was, <laughs> it was obvious to me how much you totally loved them. And you'd only known them for a couple months. But what was more reassuring to me was how much they adored you. It was unbelievable how much those boys adored you. And We've gotten to see glimpses of that even this weekend as the boys come up and hug you and they just know you you are you are their mom. And that's awesome. And that's what just gives me the warmest feeling today. So I'm super excited for you guys. I am really mad at Justin because after ten years of living outside of Boise, I decided to move back to Boise to be near Justin. <laughs> Two weeks after I got back to Boise, Justin moved to Tacoma. <laughs> so thank you to all you Tacoma people for stealing, <laughs> for stealing Justin away from Boise, but I, I really couldn't ask for anything more than what he's getting. And you, Katie, I'm super excited for you guys. And I know you're the gift that God has for him. And I know you're the gift that God has for the boys. And that just really warms my heart. And I know everybody else in this room. It was just really obvious through the whole ceremony tonight how much you guys are honoring him through your lives. And 
know, it, it will be a, a huge adventure over the next hopefully 90 plus years. So I, I really want to toast these guys. So. <laughs> There's my notes down there. I got it. I don't do that. I got it. Oh, I just celebrate you guys. I'm so excited to be here tonight. Um, I'm at Katie at Malibu. A lot of you know Malibu is a really special place, and it was a really special place to make a really awesome friend. Um, and our friendship has been through so much, and. You have been there for me in ways that I can't explain. And we've been there for each other through ups and downs of the last couple of years. And be the key. <laughs> Katie, a hug. Oh, bye. <laughs> See you later. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> bye. <laughs> um. You, one of the most significant moments, I think, in our friendship, and one of the ways that you have just taught me so much about love and loving your friends, um, was at the five year anniversary of my dad passing away. And I just hope you know that I love you so much, and <laughs> she's awesome, and Justin, um, that's just the biggest thing that I toast you guys is that you both love so well and so extravagantly. And it's because it comes from this place that you know that the Lord loved you first and that you're able to give that then to others so well. Um, so I thank you for that. And I would invite you all to joyfully and just with so much excitement toast to Katie and Justin. <laughs> I did just want to say a few words, so hold on. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Jackie! So, Katie and I, at one point, um, we shared a room together. And we spent many, many nights talking about our dream wedding, who we were going to marry, on and on and on. Wait, no, that was not us. <laughs> we never talked about that. Actually, Katie never really talked about guys, who she was dating, or any of the sort. But um, one day, Katie called me and she said, I met someone. And I was like, oh. And I instantly could hear the smile that was just radiating from her face. Like it was just, you could just tell. And right there, like she just went in and just going on about how amazing you were. And oh, it was me? <laughs> Just how amazing your sons were, my nephews now, and it was just, I just knew, just like Katie knew. I'm like, all right, I can't wait to meet this guy. So, with that, I do have a few tips, because you're going to be living with my sister now, folks that being married, is one, do not wake her up in the morning. <laughs> do not do it. Don't do it. Bad idea. Two, if you ever get a family dog, don't let her play the clarinet for it. <laughs> okay. It may or may not 
end up having a seizure. That's what happened with our family dog for her first hand cancer. I missed it because I had strep. <laughs> True story. And three, if you ever need to hear, cheer Katie up. Just start coding your Frankenstein. <laughs> also, be prepared for long order marathons. And of course, her issues. One liners. Horatio, not her issues. Horatio. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one skill that Katie has, actually it's a skill both Katie and I have, is, and it's a good thing we have two little boys, is we are masters, and Jarell and Eli, are you guys taking notes on this? Are you listening? Okay, perfect. Nope. Nope. <laughs> we are experts, masters, whatever you want to say, on play, lead, or I'm sorry, we Lego games. So we're pretty good at that. We beat every single game out there. As adults. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as adults. And then lastly, I want to say, Justin, you have brought the absolute best out of my sister. And you have made her an even more amazing person, mother, and she is ever one. Did you know that one? But that's a new one. But you, you brought that out of me. And I just thank you so much. And so lastly, this goes for all the Davis boys, all three of you, is every day you have to tell my sister how much you love her and how great she is. So, to Katie and Justin, I love you guys. Hey, just real quick, um, we want to say thank you to all of you. It means so much to us that you guys would come from all over the place um, to be here for us. And um, we just want to celebrate with you guys. Um, no more crying. That should all be done, everybody. Um, except, like, when there's people dancing, like... Well, yeah, like the father-daughter dance. You guys can cry at that. But after that, and maybe a little bit at the mother-son, but after that, just party, all right? Party your faces off because we want to celebrate with you guys. We're excited that you're here, and it just means so much to us. So thank you so much. We love you guys. You guys are our family, and, uh, and we love you. all those things it is people always say this about your wedding that it's such a like it's the one time in your life when all your favorite people are in one room and this probably will never happen again um, and it, it for every single one of you um, it is a blessing and an honor that you would you would come uh, to witness and be part of what God has done and what he's continuing to do and so um, we are so grateful for each and every one of you um, and we hope I, we we actually wanted uh, that community vow to be part of our wedding because we need you. Uh, we need you more than probably most couples because we have uh, some uniqueness to our relationship and we need you. Um, and we, we want you in our lives and we welcome you to help us as much as you can because we'll need it. Um, but we love each and every one of you and this is such a special night. So thank you so much for being here, um, for being here for our special day, um, but more importantly for being being in our lives before and after this. So this is to you guys. Cheers to you. Woo!